Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I wanted just to go over, um, and it's been a great debate over whether QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop is the better program. And um, most of you know, especially if you've been on my website, that I prefer the online program. I find it to be superior, especially with the apps that are out there, that it's a superior program to QuickBooks Desktop. I'm just going to prove to you this because I had to work in desktop the other day and it was like, oh, I felt like I was working around in an old clunky autom automobile or a, um, you know, the kind that you had to roll the windows up or it was just, it was just so, so many clicks to do things. So it reminded me of why I don't like to work in desktop anymore and in a file that had a lot of issues. Um, it had database problems and it had a whole host of things wrong with it and I had to fix some reconciliations. I'm gonna show you here where I have a client that changed a transaction and now has messed up my reconciliation from the prior month. So how do you fix this? Well, in, in desktop, how you fix it is you have to either go in and change the transaction and re-reconcile it the next time you reconcile or you can undo a reconciliation and um, change the transaction and then re-reconcile the whole month. So I'm show you how we fix it here. So here's a typical one. I get this little warning and you've got this little hyperlink that you can click on. And it's going to bring me to the, the transaction that changed. So somebody changed it. I've already changed it back to what it's supposed to be. And it's unreconciled in the register. So how do I find this and re-reconcile it? Because it was reconciled until somebody changed it. And then once I changed it back, it, it still stayed unreconciled. Because once you make a change like that, it will unreconcile. So I'm just going to click here on the transaction amount that was reconciled and this other box populates. And then all I have to do is come over here and click until the R comes back in. Click the word saved. The transaction is downloaded from the bank. Be sure you want to edit it and I do because it's messing up my bank rack. Now I'm back to zero and everything's wonderful. So again, just a short tutorial. I mean, there's been a lot of debate on, on the Intuit community forum about desktop. Most of the people argue against me with how much desktop is better than online, but I disagree. And that's one of the reasons why. So I hope that was helpful to you to help to fix a transaction that's been changed. Many of you may not know that you can just do that little one click and then just put the R back and then the transactions back. And that can happen on a transaction. Even if you just take a transaction and change the category, it can unreconcile it just because you made that minor change. So all you have to do is that one little click and it's back to where it belongs. Thank you for watching. Bye now.